Well, hello friends. Thank you for hanging out with me uh, as we stay tuned in to what God is doing in and through the life of St. Paul's United Methodist Church. Um, coming to you today from the mobile studio. Um, we happen to be in Carline at Forest High School. Uh, those of you that are still in your Carline days know uh, what that is like. Those of you that have graduated from your Carline days, uh, you're probably giggling right now. And those of you that have yet to reach your car line sitting days, uh, just get ready. But anyway, coming to you real life today, um, just with a quick word about this Sunday. Um, you know, we have a, a ton going on in the life of our church right now. I won't beleaguer uh, this, uh, what I want to be a pretty important time on Fridays uh, when I check in with you all. I won't run through all of that. I will direct you to your Wednesday emails um, about newsletter. And then on Thursday, you received one specific to um, some things happening over the holiday season that we want you to be aware of. So check those out. But uh, I really just want to talk about this weekend. Um, we, uh, again, are uh, given the opportunity uh, to do several things this Sunday. Uh, the first is come to the table which we do on the first Sunday of each month uh, as we are remembered to uh, the awesome love of God um, portrayed in Jesus Christ. So we come to the communion table and all are welcome to that table, of course, in our tradition. And we come to remember, we come to remember uh, this overwhelming um, reality of God's love in our world. And we ask again what it means for us to respond to that immense grace uh, we also have the opportunity to engage family worship as our children uh, that are older than nursery age will remain with us. They will observe us in worship. They will participate with us in worship. Uh, heck, some of them are going to be helping us uh, particular elements of worship. And, uh, and we value that immensely and want you to be a part of that. No matter the age of your children, we want you here uh, for family worship. And specific to this Sunday... Excuse me, let me get you situated here. Specific to this Sunday, um, it's All Saints Sunday. Uh, many of you are aware that All Saints Day is actually November the 1st, which was just a few days ago. And we will observe that as a worshiping Christian community together in worship. And I want to invite you to do something um, in preparation for that. Some of you may have already done this in your own way. But... Um, All Saints Day, and we'll talk more about this, of course, in the context of worship, but All Saints Day is a day where we give God thanks for the people in our life that have gone ahead of us. Uh, those particular people that, uh, like I said, have gone on ahead of us. They have departed this world, but in their time with us and in their time leading us and loving us and sharing with us, they impacted not only God's kingdom, but they impacted God's kingdom because they impacted us as well. They taught us things. They modeled things for us. They gave us examples that we still cling to, that we still try to emulate in our lives. If you haven't stopped this week yet and think about those people and give thanks for those people, please do that. Um, pause for them. Pray and give God thanks for them. Tell your family members about them. There are probably people in your life that know these saints that you're thinking about that would not only thoroughly enjoy, but probably need for their own soul you to call them and say, Hey, do you remember when Grandma talked to us about this? Do you remember that time where we were going here with Grandpa? Do you see what I'm saying? I take the time to do that. I believe not only is that good for your soul, good for the soul of others, but I believe that's a God-honoring thing, and that deepens our understanding of what Paul talks about as the great cloud of witnesses that surround us. And also, if you haven't done so, um, invite grace into those places that all saints, in remembering people that have departed us and departed our world, Invite grace into those difficult places as well. Those places that are a little uncomfortable. Because here's the other truth of All Saints Day is 
we say saints, and that's an important um, theological expression, um, and I believe it fits for these folks that have modeled for us the love of Christ. But they weren't perfect. They were human, right? They, in many cases, did their best, but they were not perfect. And so I know that in my own life, there are saints in my life that I remember fondly and I remember the loving and I remember the things that were imparted to me and for me that I cling to, but there are also things that were, that I don't remember so fondly, uh, that are painful. And I think it's okay and I think it's needed and I wanna invite you, if you're still hanging out with me a couple minutes into this video, that you and I, and our work as disciples and as our work as growing um, people, uh, especially those of us who claim um, the identity as Christian, we need to let God's grace intercede in those moments. We need to understand that even in those difficult memories, perhaps, or those difficult scenarios and circumstances where we remember people, but we also remember their flaws and we remember perhaps pain that maybe they caused or maybe that they were caught up in, that we would ask for God's grace to move within us as we think about that. That God can even redeem those things even in our present. I believe that's how redemption works. I believe that's one of the beauties of All Saints Remembrance is not just lamenting difficult things about those that have gone ahead of us, but also asking God's grace and trusting that redemption can even happen today. I think that's important. I think that's what's needed. I think that's what the journey of faith is is about. It's about understanding that nothing is outside of God's redemption. And so I know for myself, just to recap, that there are many, many, many things that I need to give God thanks for as it relates to the saints of my life that have gone on ahead of me. I need to pause. You need to pause. We need to pause and and honor God and give thanks for them. But there are also things that can be conjured up when we think about the saints that have gone ahead of us that we may think are not so holy and that are not so loving and that may come with baggage. And I think the work that we need to do is to invite God's grace into those places as well, knowing that God can and will redeem all that. And we need to be in the work with God to do just that, all right? All Saints Sunday this Sunday, 10.30 a.m. We'll talk more about this for a little bit. We'll observe Holy Communion, and we will remember those, especially those that have departed us in the in the last calendar year. And so I pray you'll be with us 10.30 a.m. here at St. Paul's in Ocala, not in the Forest High School car line. Um, and if you can't be with us in person, I hope you'll join us online. We'll be on our Facebook page live as well as the YouTube channel. All right, grace and peace to you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Can't wait to see you soon.